Hi there, welcome back. In this video, I want to show you how you can use AutoKeras to perform automated machine learning for deep learning models. Okay. In case you're not familiar with AutoML, automated machine learning, basically what it helps us do is find the best performing model, be it a machine learning model or a deep learning model to solve a particular predictive modeling task. So in this video, we're going to use AutoKeras for deep learning because in a previous video, I showed you how you can use AutoSKLearn to solve this problem with normal machine learning models. So AutoSKLearn is for normal machine learning models that are built with uh, scikit-learn and AutoKeras, as the name tells us, it uses Keras models, right, to find the best model to solve your predictive uh, task. So if you're not familiar with AutoSKLearn, you can definitely go check that video out. I'm going to put a link down below in the description. But in this video, we're going to solve a regression task with AutoKeras. OK, now let's go ahead. But before I start, I just want to thank you for subscribing to our channel and for liking our videos, because we really want to help you guys grow in the data science and machine learning space. And it also helps us reach a larger audience. So make sure you click that subscribe button. And now let's go ahead and, uh, and see how we can solve this problem. So here, as, as we know, AutoKeras is a Python library that is used to perform AutoML for deep learning models. So if we go to AutoKeras.com, we can see more details about how we can install, how we can uh, use it. We have a couple of tutorials here. But uh, I'm going to walk you through a regression task uh, right now. OK, so we're going to first have to install AutoKeras and the required libraries. All right. So my environment is a Conda environment, Python 3.7. And you can easily install AutoKeras by running these two, uh, two commands. So first you install Keras Tuner with pip. And afterwards, you can install AutoKeras. Make sure that you install this because otherwise it's not going to work. Okay, so we need Keras Tuner as it, as it is a dependency that is needed by AutoKeras. Okay, so make sure that you run these two commands, install them with pip, and you're going to be all set. Right? All right, it's, it's very simple to install uh, AutoKeras. For AutoSKLearn, you have a couple of dependency issues. But with AutoKeras, it's perfectly fine. Okay, so make sure that uh, that you install these libraries. And now, let's go ahead and just import the formatting and the uh, debugger. And also, let's uh, import matplotlib and numpy because we're going to need them later on. So we're going to solve a regression task, and I'm going to create a regression problem with the help of make regression from scikit-learn. If you're not familiar with make regression, basically you can just check the documentation here. It generates a data set by applying a potentially random linear regression model with a number of informative regressors. Now, of course, we don't want to solve our problem with a simple linear regression because we want to use Kera. So I'm going to do a couple of transformations afterwards to the actual target. So let's go ahead and run this and see exactly how we can do it. So we're going to have 100,000 samples. We're going to have five features and five informative features, of course. We're going to add some noise. And of course, we're going to set a random state so we get the same results. And as I was saying, we don't want to solve this problem with a simple linear regression. Therefore, we're going to modify the target to to, to suit that uh, specific need. First, we're going to transform all the targets so that all the entries are non-negative. And the reason why we need to do that is that if we check Y, we're going to see that we also have negative entries. So we want to make sure that our targets are positive. And then we're going to apply an exponential function to obtain these non-linear targets so that we cannot just fit them with a simple linear model. Let's go ahead and just plot our target first so we see what we're dealing with. It's like a simple, basic distribution centered around zero. And that is not what we actually want for our problem. And therefore, we're going to apply these two. So first, we're going to apply this exponential function. And then we're going to 
transform it with a logarithmic function. Let's go ahead. And now we can plot our y to see exactly what happens once we applied our exponential function. You see everything is above zero and it has a longer tail. The distribution has a longer tail. And now if we look at our transformation with the logarithmic function, we can see that now is not centered around zero, of course, and it cannot be solved with a simple linear model. So this is what you need to do in order to transform your regression task to a more complicated task that cannot be just simply solved with a linear regression. And now what we need to do is just split our data into a test and train set. And we're going to have a test size of 30%. And now all we have to do is just apply AutoKeras to this, uh, to this uh, test and train set, all right? So for our specific regression task, we're going to use a structured data regressor. If we want to solve a classification task, we can use the structured data classifier that solves a classification task with AutoKeras. So we're going to import structured data regressor and then we're going to have three trials only, and we're going to have a loss function, the mean absolute error. Okay, let's define this. And if we want to actually check out all other arguments that we can uh, specify, so our loss function, we can, we, can, uh, we can define it here. Also, we can specify different metrics. Of course, the maximum number of trials, I always go for a smaller amount number of trials because otherwise it's just, it's just gonna take forever to test out all of those models. For this example, we're gonna use just three. I suggest that you go for a, a minimum of 10, but in this example, we're just gonna use three because I want this to run a little bit faster so that we don't waste time with all this training. And then other specific uh, parameters that you can pass, for example, the directory, this is where you're going to have the models saved, so you can actually check them out afterwards. You can see the trials. Now, let's uh, go ahead and fit our data, our train set, and we're going to use 50 epochs, because I think here the, our uh, structured data regressor uses 1,000 epochs, if I'm not sure. Let me actually check. Epochs, if unspecified, we would use epochs equal to 1000, okay? So it's pretty high. Of course, this number 50 is not, it's too low. I would suggest that you go with maybe at least 150, 200 epochs. For this tutorial, I'm just gonna use 50 because it's, uh, it's gonna run faster. Now let's go ahead and fit this. And it's gonna take a little bit of time. So let's just wait it off for a bit. Right, so it took us a minute and 37 seconds and the model is fit. And we can evaluate now on the test set, all right, with the evaluate method. Let's go ahead and print our mean absolute error. And you can see it's 0 0.036. Now this can differ because sometimes depends how this model in is initiated. So now that we have our mean absolute error, we can export the model and we can see what is the model that was best for our particular problem. And for that, we can check our summary. So we can summarize the model. So we can see that we have two hidden layers and the activation is ReLU. So that's about it, right? It's super simple, as you can see, to find the best solution for your particular regression task with AutoKeras. All right, and if you want to check the actual trials, you will find them in a folder that is created in the root directory named structured data regressor. So you can, let's actually go ahead and see that. So you see, this is our folder. And here we have the best model and then also the trials that were run. Now, that is about it 
For classification tasks, you can use Structured Data Classifier, and I really encourage you to try out a classification problem. You can use Make Classification from Scikit-Learn, and I have a video for that as well if you want to see how you can create classification data sets. But it's pretty straightforward, and I definitely encourage you to try classification with AutoKeras and see how well it performs. Okay? I really hope that you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.